Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Insurgency Sunstorm default game on the GeForce GTX 750 Ti. I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p. To skip to of those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check the Chrono GG and Humble affiliate links down in the description as well. Thanks to the publisher for providing a copy of the game. Across the entire video, I'll be toggling 60 frames per second since this is more of a competitive game and many times when I try a 30 frames per second target apart from aiming being more difficult the game ran into some extra stutters due to the higher settings on 1080p I overclocked the GTX 750 Ti I added 400 megahertz to the memory clock and 200 megahertz to the core clock on 900p and 720p I disabled the overclock on 1080p and 900p to get close to 60 frames per second in the worst cases I needed to use pretty much low settings at 720p I could crank up the settings a little bit higher Higher, but the game still like to drop below 60 frames per second every now and then. There's a high VRAM demand here. That's why the RAM usage is so high. The system is trying to compensate for the lack of VRAM using system RAM, but the game is still playable. I know this video is one week late, sorry for the delay. This one has a good amount of options compared to other games using this same engine. I'll talk about the ones which made the biggest performance difference in my end. On the basic quality options, I noticed that effects, shadows and post-processing are the biggest performance impacts. Then on the advanced options we have a lot of other stuff that can help us tweak the game. The first thing that I would tweak is the texture streaming pool. I recommend keeping that on low all the time. If you use high or turn it off, the game will use significantly more VRAM and if you don't have enough, it will also use your system RAM. This is important since you are telling the game the amount of video memory that can be used to store streaming texture data according to the game's explanation. So keeping it on low helped me out the most even on 4 gigabytes of VRAM video cards and also the the option called keep loaded textures. Then for extra performance, I mean occlusion was a very noticeable impact as well as tessellation. Then in other instances, dynamic shadow resolution and cascaded shadow map resolution were also an impact to my frame rate. For some reason screen space reflections didn't have a big impact in my case for what I played so far. On the scope settings, I recommend using the normal option since the picture in picture setting is a huge performance impact when aiming using anything magnified. Since it will only magnify in the scope you're using instead of zooming the whole camera, I tested the game in the Summit map, since I found it to be quite GPU intensive in comparison to the other maps. This will be against spots due to the low amount of servers available in my region and the map rotation. This will make sure that I test the same map each time and the results have some consistency. So consider this the worst case scenario on the GPU side. I'll be using a two time red dot when aiming so I can stress the GPU more when looking into certain places. But yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. They're coming! Luke, Luke! Ha! Charlie is ours now! Nice job! Objective clear! I'm up!
ahead. Let's do it! Roger! They need us! Enemy up ahead! Look, look, look!
I'm on Charlie! Ha <laughs> ha! 